Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. So today I've got my top 10 favourite makeup items that you need. I did one of these previously, but I felt like it was about time for me to like refresh it, let you know what I've been loving, because I pretty much wear like this makeup kind of every every time I do makeup pretty much and I get so many questions on like what have you used, what are your lashes, what's your lip colour, so that is what's in this video, they're literally all my favourite items. So I'm going to start with like how I apply my makeup on like a daily basis, so we're going to start with foundation. My favourite foundation that you need is the L'Oreal True Match, mine is in the shade 3N. I really struggle to find drugstore foundations that suit my skin, that love that don't make me look oily or like change colour through the day and this is just one of those no fail always works foundations and that is why it's something that's like one of my top 10 favourite makeup items at the moment. Next up we'll go on to eyes and I have this to share with you. This is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now this was a pretty kind of new discovery to me probably about 3-4 months ago. I had it but I'd never used it and it just works, that's what most of these products are, they just work so well without any fuss and I apply this before I do my eyeshadow as a primer obviously but I also like to drag it up under my brows so it's kind of like a brow product primer as well. It works really well, it's not sticky, it's not too silicone-y so I actually, it actually does things like my eyeshadow doesn't crease when I wear it and it just works so well. I've tried a lot of primers and I did love like the Urban Decay ones but this is so good compared to that one. My eyeshadows used to drag so much without me kind of realising. I'd be like, why am I so rubbish at eyeshadow? And I still don't think I'm too great, but this makes it a lot easier. So talking of eyeshadow, I have my Z palette. And I want to talk to you about some of my favourite Makeup Geek shades. Now, I feel like Makeup Geek are highly talked about in like the American beauty community, but I feel like like in England, it, it was a bit of a hassle to get them. I mean, it's a lot easier now. You can get them on Beauty Bay. And I have... Probably my favourite ones are this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So my obviously my Z palette is like wrecked. They don't travel too well, which is so frustrating. Like I have some of the ones from the balm here, and a lot of them are smashed because I took it to Paris and they just did not survive. But I still use them every day. These are like my favourite ones. So on my list today, I started off with this one here in the corner, which is Frappe. I then moved on to the one in the middle, Coca Bear. And then this one down here, the dark chocolate brown, which is Americano, I kind of put either side and did like a halo eye with this one in the middle, which is Grandstand, which is a foiled eyeshadow. Grandstand actually smashed, like completely smashed, and I managed to save it, and it still works just as well. Like I just applied some like rubbing alcohol, mixed it, pressed it back in, and it works so well. So if they do smash, then you're all good. But obviously that's just because I was traveling. They don't smash if you just keep them on your desk. But yeah, I love my Z palette. I especially love my Makeup Geek shadows and I would 100% recommend them if you haven't tried them yet. I will link down below where you can get them, but you can get them on Beauty Bear and I believe they're around six pounds each. So of course, my lashes, I get asked so much, what lashes are you wearing? I love your lashes. Do you always wear the same lashes? Do you wear different lashes? I always wear the same lashes, I mean pretty much, and they are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. It took me a while to kind of find these, but now I found them, I don't really wear any others, which is kind of bad. But I just love them. I love how they look on my eye. I love the way they're slightly more flicked out of the corner, but not so much as like, kind of, you know, you have like the Demi Wispy sort of things where they were really tiny and really big. I feel like they don't look natural at all because I don't want to look natural when I'm wearing false lashes. These are what I wear when I'm going out if I'm doing like a full face of makeup. And they're so easy to apply. Like, so easy. So if you are kind of a beginner with lashes, then I would actually recommend these because they take me literally like two minutes to put on. Now I believe they are around the £15 mark but I can wear them up to like probably 15 times. A pair will last me like three, four weeks which, well even more than that, just I, when I throw them away as well I don't actually need to, it's just because I feel like I, actually it's about time to get a fresh set out because it's getting a bit gross, like they don't look bad but probably for like health and safety in my eye, I should get some fresh ones. So of course eyeliner is something that I've been wearing more and more and my baby, this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner. I didn't get on the hype with this, I was like I don't get it, I just use you know my drugstore eyeliners that I love and then I tried it, yes. This makes eyeliner so much easier, the tip is amazing, it's very like wet so you don't have to like drag it along your eye. It's super easy to apply, really precise. It lasts for ages, it works really well. I think it's about 16 pounds in Debenhams and 
yeah, it works so, so well. I would, re oh my gosh, I'm gonna say I recommend all of these. You need to try all of these at some point. <laughs> so on something that's relatively new to me, well, very new to me, uh, it's my highlighter. So it took me a long time to find something that lived up to my Anastasia highlighters, my uh, Mary Lou by the Balm, but I've done it. So this is the Lottie London Shimmer Squad, and this is 9.99. You get four highlights in there, all of which are super pigmented. I would say this is a definite dupe for the like one of the Anastasia highlighter palettes, but they're 9.99 and they work. So going along with the highlighter theme, the next product that I have to share with you is this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlight Brush. It's the A23, and I use this to pack powder under my eyes. I use it to highlight. It's like perfect for both of those jobs and this is just one of them brushes that you notice when it's not there like say if I like if I've misplaced it or something I notice this makes doing my makeup so much easier and I would really recommend trying this so the next thing is something that I feel like I raved about a lot a while back they kind of calmed down on it but still used it but just didn't really tell you so this is the Sephora uh, prep and perfect I was gonna say prep and prime it's the pep and perfect oh I can't say it <laughs> colorless smoothing and brightening powder so you can only get this in Sephora in Europe so you can't order it online unless you order from like the French site and get it sent over or something like that or if you go to like France or Spain or you know anywhere in Europe this is phenomenal for setting under your eyes it's just it's a barely there powder that just does so much and it just works again one of the things that just works it travels really well I've never had one of these smash on me and yeah it's lasted me about probably like a year and I use it pretty much every day. My next thing is a makeup tool. Now I love this product, this item, but I feel like I've never told you in like a video like this and it's my beauty blender. I know these are, this is like the original beauty blender, I know these are very kind of overhyped, everyone calm down on the hype, but I still think they're fabulous. I think there's a very big jump up from something like a drugstore sponge to this so if you've never tried this if you get it and try it you'll be like oh my gosh my life has changed that's how I feel anyway I love it for doing foundation concealer I even love it for having a full face right now dampening it and then going over my face and just like freshening up it's little things like that that make such a difference this is 16 pounds which is it is pricey but they last a good amount of time they clean up really well Obviously I've used this one so it's not clean right now, I cleaned it this morning, but I could not live without this. Say if I lost this, I would have to go out and buy another one literally the next day. This is what takes my makeup from being kind of average to like that kind of airbrushed, flawless, not saying I'm flawless, but you know, it blends everything out so well. And these are also super readily available now, you can get them on Cult Beauty, you can get them in store in Boots. I will link some options down below for you to go have a look at and they do some amazing gift sets as well. So bronzer, this is my NARS Casino bronzer, again something that I hyped over for a long time and then didn't really talk about but I still use this on a day to day basis. Everyone loves NARS Laguna but it just doesn't show up on my skin. I know when I film I look super pale because I'm washed out, I'm sat in front of a bright window and my like camera settings are quite kind of white but I actually have quite kind of not dark skin but I have the type of skin that if say if I was to go in the sun for a day I would get a tan and I would have like distinctive tan lines I just I go dark quite quickly so this is like perfect for me it's like darker than non than Laguna and it just works really really well it is matte it's not too intense but it just looks amazing on the skin to give you that kind of warmth to your face my only criticism is it's pretty pricey and my last one of these smashed which was a really sad day and finally my lips so this is a product that I wear a lot, like a lot, a lot. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita, and it's not Lolita 2, it's like the original Lolita. And it's the colour on my lips right now, but I've got a lip balm over the top, so I find this so versatile because obviously it's a matte lip, but you can let it dry down and have the matte lip, or you can apply a lip balm over the top and have it like I've got right now, or you can apply a gloss, or you can even do like an ombre lip with it. There's so many kind of different ways to use it, and it's such a great colour. I feel like it's one of them colours that you can tell you're wearing lipstick, it's not too nude, it's not too kind of neutral, but it's not very out there. Like if it starts to wear off, it doesn't look bad, and that's like the main thing for me because I'm not very good at topping my kind of makeup up throughout the day. Maybe lipstick I will, but I can't remember the last time when I like powdered throughout the day or redid my eyeliner or something like that. If it's coming off, it's coming off. So that is everything that I have to show you. Those are my top 10 makeup items 
at the moment that I love, that I recommend. If you do get the chance to try them or if you've tried any of them and you have opinions, let me know in the comments down below because I love to see how different makeup works on different people because there's products here that I absolutely love. But I know for a fact that there could be a ton of you sat at home thinking, oh my gosh, that's rubbish, how can she even use that? Which I find really interesting, like I love the way things work so differently on different people. So yeah, please do let me know in the comments down below, also some of your favourites, we can have a chat. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!